Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to be fixing this 2021 Scania 540. It's, it's had a hit in the front. When the driver came to look at it, he says, well, it's only a grill in the screen, so I'm, I might pay for it. That's the grill here, there. But when we looked at it, it had a good hit in them kind of area in there. When we had a good at it, it's it's more than just a grill because that cap is well well pushed back snapped it both ends are uh, moved back this one hasn't snapped but it's nearly there that cap is way way back all the rads are pushed back so no doubt they're going to be bent and damaged the screen is damaged and all that kind of thing but it, it actually had a hit straight on them chassis legs there and this side, you can probably see that locker door is out of square. That gap is a bit weird because it's smaller there, big and small again, and dense on this side panel there. And when we had a good good look at the floor, that, that chassis leg, what runs under the cap, this one is up and the other side is down. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to take the cap off, we're going to strip it all and no doubt i'm probably pretty much guaranteed them cast chassis ends on the end they're going to be bent not sure about the chassis yet but and this side this side is pretty dark in there but this side there's a gap under there feels like there's like a dip in that floor there on that chassis leg and the other chassis leg is up like a banana and this door don't fit properly now for some reason well not, not some reason because that chassis leg and there's a dent on that cab on the side panel there we're gonna strip it off uh, strip it take the cab off pretty much everything on the back there is destroyed so we're gonna strip it all we can obviously jack the cab up because it's it's snapped off the front there so we're gonna Carefully, I'm just going to remove everything from the front, electrics and all the water pipes and all that kind of stuff. Then we see what we can do. So let's crack on with it.
Oh guys, the cab is off, sits on the jig, bolted to the jig, the chassis on the bottom of the cab definitely bent like that, up, this, this chassis is up actually and the other one is up, no sorry, down, down and the other one is down as well, we're gonna need to just to press it up later on, hopefully that will, that will square that up, there's a little dink when it had a hit in, in that Put you on the wide angle when it had a hit in that there's a little dink in there that's a bit that gap is a bit close there it's supposed to be bigger like that so that that would just needs a little pull there that's not a problem but for now i'm gonna i'm gonna leave the cap for now i'm gonna need to take all the rads out because no doubt they all damage anyway this is a big dent in there in that intercooler the rod is bent back all the brackets are snapped off of the rad being being pushed into the back a couple of bends in there we're gonna need to take it off 100 percent them casts alley uh, steel cast brackets are bent surprising how uh, this is still in one piece because that that that's way way pushed back and that's going to be 100 percent bent back there as soon as you bought the new one, it's going to rock because that's no lever, that's bent back. The cast is very soft. You can you can uh, easy drill in the cast, in the, in the steel, you won't drill as easy as in the cast. You put like a 6 mil drill bit and it will go like in the butter. So that's pretty soft, we're going to replace all them. So we need to take the front end off the rads, then we we'll see what we need. Hopefully the chassis, we're going to measure the chassis bit between two chassis ends how level that sits, hopefully not too bad. So let's crack on with it.
out as these rods are out and I've ordered lots of bits, I've made a big list, basically them two cast chassis ends, they have to be replaced because when this bracket is bent back, bends this cast and as soon as you bolt the new one on it, there's a gap between the top and bottom, then you bolt it and you move that bracket back, which is not ideal. I've ordered two new ones and them aluminium casts, which they are snapped over there. Two of those, I've ordered the rad and intercooler, and a bun bunch of other stuff. What, yeah, basically all the brackets for the cab, yeah, all the shock absorbers and the airbags and, and all that kind of stuff. What's in there, all them metal brackets, shocks. The same the back end, all them stays and locks and bits and bobs and airbags for the back as well. And I've have to wait for them till till nearly end of the week. And right now I think I'm gonna just jump on this cab. Get this cab squared up. Basically it's sitting in the perfect spot. I will try to get them chassis legs under the cab, push up, then we'll see what's what's gonna happen there because that's weird damage. To be honest because that's out of square now side panel and the gap gap is small massive and small on the top so we try to figure out how the heck we're gonna get that repaired and i will need to pull on there might need to undo this bolt put something there and pull that like i've showed you earlier so let's crack on with it right guys i've got my putter power ready which I'm going to use just to press this in there with a bit of a thing, flat something, but I'm just going to show you how that chassis leg is bent. It's supposed to be straight. If I get down to the front, you can see it. That's supposed to be a straight. So I'm going to try to crazy, crazy damage, and that's basically what's happened to every single scanner which got a hit in the front and the cab is pushed back and ripped off them alley brackets. It's being held by the back locks and squashed from the front and that chassis just goes like that. So let's get this body power on and let's press it up. guys it's all done on this side pretty perfect uh, chassis straight now just gonna do the other side and it, that door fits perfectly now shoots the gap is perfect even feel feel better so let's go to the other side guys the chassis underneath is fixed pretty perfect straight perfectly now and i was hoping something's gonna happen to all this because you, you, you can see that's out of square and that there's a bigger gap there and that side panel is in there for some reason 
and I'll, have, I'll pro probably spend about half an hour trying to understand what happened and what's going on. I've got my paperwork there. I've measured distance from there to there. It's supposed to be 1649, which is that hole, the top hole over there. Yeah, that hole. And I measured to this hole there. And we're about uh, three, four mil too short. So I think this side panel look high anyway, for some reason. I think what we're gonna do, if we're gonna grab it down the bottom on that intersection, on this intersection there, just underneath that hole, and we try to bring that down, then we probably will have to weld something to, to this edge and try give it out and forward to square the hole up because it's quite hard to understand what happening and how happening but basically when when i had a hit in the front then that chassis leg went like that and that door squeezed squeezed to the side panel and pushed that side panel in and back that's basically what happened but somehow obviously is low anyway we tried to dress it up so obviously the post isn't right because it hasn't been hit in the post, which is strange, but we have to try try to fix it. So I think we're going to pull it there. We'll see how it goes. Then we're going to go for that section there. So let's do it.
all done. Done and dusted, apart from painting, all the gap looks good. I pulled it down, pulled it down. I did have to adjust that door up a touch because that distance from the hole there to the hole there was about mill out and that door was lower comparing to the other side anyway. The gap is all good, perfectly. Just have to apply some body filler in areas there. Just dress that up, but that's probably gonna be in the next video. The same in this side. It's, it's, it's not a lot, there's a little bit damage there and damage on that panel. Apart from that, that's all good. I've ordered the bits, like I said, they come in. Uh, it, Tuesday, today, I think you're gonna see this video on, on Friday. So, the uh, next video is gonna be pro probably building this chassis up. So thank you guys for watching, see you on the next one.